let's talk about all the awesome food you can enjoy on the Mardi Gras, starting with the new complimentary option, Big Chicken. Oh, Big Chicken. That was so good. Big Chicken had awesome food. It's a casual dining experience. You can just walk right up, order whatever you want. They've got great uh, chicken sandwiches for breakfast and lunch, and uh, they've got a... Uh, a um, what do you want to call it? A garnish bar, a place you can go and add toppings and stuff. Oh, it's so good. So they have great sandwiches like the Big Aristotle, which has mm -hmm. chicken, bacon, Munster cheese, and fried onions on it. Nice. Delicious. And of course, they've got these great wedge fries. It and, looks good. Mm -hmm, mm. But my favorite was actually their breakfast chicken and biscuit. The chicken and biscuit. With the spicy honey sauce. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, and you can get those until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's, so a, that's good. a good thing to know is Big Chicken, even the breakfast menu is available late into the day or into the middle afternoon, I should say. So let me just put up the menu so you can see an idea of what the different, uh, what the different sandwich options are. And you There's, can see they've got a few options for breakfast. I really like the biscuit and honey. Yeah. The honey bis biscuit, biscuit chicken. That was so good. Chicken and good. biscuit with... Uh, the spicy honey glaze. Yeah, oh, that was yum. really good. Um, but we got to go back because we haven't tried all those I yet. Oh, I got to try some more sandwiches. Okay. There's also Guy's Burger Joint. Of course. And Guy's Burger Joint, of course, has delicious burgers and fries. Like this is the Ringer. And the Guy's Burger uh, Mardi Gras is on the deck above the Lido deck. And it's even bigger than the other Guy's Burgers that I've seen with plenty of seating. And you can do like Joy does and get the um, plain, plain Jane. Jane. Yep, and go to the toppings bar and add extra ingredients to it. Or you can pick one of the may, the burgers they make up for you from their menu. Show that to you here. Yep. And that's Guy's Burger Joint. Also complimentary. No extra charge for that. Awesome. We really enjoyed another place named after Guy's. Guy's Barbecue Place. It's called the Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse. Oh, that was really good. That was a great place. That was quite a surprise, too, because I wasn't expecting it to be so tasty. It's yeah, good. it was really good. And it's a nice casual area to sit down. And they have, have people serving at the table and get ribs and uh, uh, brisket and uh, chicken, sausage, a lot of great food and great sides, too. And um, they're even open for breakfast. They have a little breakfast buffet. You can go there. Ooh. No extra charge. Yeah, there's so many great places for breakfast now. Yeah, yeah, it is. And another complimentary option, and another new new venue on uh, Carnival is called Street Eats. And Street Eats is a series of three stands, kind of like uh, food truck inspired stands that feature different food every day. Uh, Sizzle has kind of like stir fried noodles. They had uh, like pud thai on this particular day. Mm -hmm. And there's also the steam dream which has dumplings oh. and there is a fry french fry place that has fries with different toppings loaded now, let me show you some examples here there were some delicious options and they change it up each day so there's different options so you can see here there was spicy beef and a delicious dumpling and some uh some french fries i think they call them philly cheesesteak fries those are really interesting yeah they're so good a lot of great it's just fun to try it Try them every day. Yep. You could have them for lunch. Mm. Yep. And it's right there on the Lido deck by the main pool. You can just stop by there and grab whatever they're featuring. Yeah. And get as much as you want. It's included. I know. It was so good. Yep. And if you're looking for something healthy, you want to get a salad, head to the Serenity area and go to Fresh Creations. It's a new concept where you can get salads made just the way you want them. Nice. Speaking of getting things made just the way you want them, we got to mention Blue Iguana. Also on the Lido deck down uh, down by uh, next to the um, Street Eats is Blue Iguana. You can get burritos, uh, tacos made just the way you want them. And in the morning, they have breakfast burritos and the huevos rancheros. And didn't you like the corn thing, the arapas? Yeah, that, that yellow thing there, a little, little half circle thing, that's called an arapa. And that is kind of like cornbread with uh, cheese in it. It's fun to say. Yep. Arapa. So. A lot of great food at Blue Iguana, uh, another great option. Mm -hmm. And of course, go on a Carnival Cruise, you got to get yourself some pizza. And they've got the Pizzeria del Capitano. Yeah. It's a really big location for the uh, biggest one I've seen on a Carnival Cruise ship. You can go there and get a pizza made just the way you want it, made to order at Pizzeria del Capitano. 
And next to Pizzeria del Capitano, another new concept, yet another new concept, and that's Piazza Panini. And that's where they've got the great sandwiches. Uh, they've got, of course, paninis, and they've got sandwiches that you might find at Carnival mm, Deli on other ships like yum. the Reuben. Yum. A lot of delicious Classic. food. Yep. Um, and again, included in the price of your fare. Also, also included, a great spot for dinner is Chebang. Chebang. Okay, don't sing. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Chebang is a restaurant that features a, both a menu of Chinese food and a menu of Mexican food. So you can get Chinese food or Mexican food at Chebang. A lot of great options at this new concept. And again, it's included in the price of your fare. Wow. Yep. And also, of course, included in the price of your fare at the uh, Lino Marketplace. They've got very new updated look for the buffet area with these, you know, individual kind of like circular stations. It's not the long, you know, long stretched out line. They've got these little stations. It makes it really convenient to walk up and get food, mm -hmm. breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the uh, Lino Marketplace. Great, great buffet setup, I thought. Right. They had like certain areas like for salads and mm -hmm. for hot dishes yep. or hot food. <laughs> yep. Not hot dishes like Minnesota. Uh, hot okay. dishes, no. <laughs> yep. And then, of course, they have the main dining room. They actually have two main dining rooms, two big ones. Uh, the one at the back of the ship is called the Palm Restaurant. Mm -hmm. And that's the, of the two, I'd say that's the one that to me looked a little more, a little more elegant, a little more formal. But uh -huh. there's also the Flamingo Restaurant. Nice. So two great uh, main dining room uh, restaurants. You can go there for dinner. And I'll give you the, the sample menu for the main dining rooms, give you an idea of what the food is. If you haven't been on a car on a cruise, it changes day to day. Mm -hmm. And it, it it can change over time, but this gives you an example of some of the food you could get at the main dining room on Mardi Gras. And there are some items you can get that are cost a little extra, like the steakhouse and sushi options, of course the cocktails. But most of the foodie and the food in the main dining rooms is included. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't feel like leaving the cabin for some reason, you just want to kind of hang out and relax after a busy day, you can order pizza delivered. And Yay. other delicious items like chicken wings delivered to your room just by using the Carnival Hub app. That's so, so much fun. Another great option. Yeah. yeah. It'll cost you a little extra, but if you want the convenience of having the food delivered, that is a great way to go. Speaking of food that costs a little extra but might be worth it is a few special restaurants we got to talk about. Starting okay. with the new concept, Rudy's Sea Grill. Rudy's Sea Grill has a lot of great uh, seafood. Grilled up for you, like the uh, lobster macaroni and cheese. I like the plate. Yeah, they do real fun, uh, real fun um, presentation of the food. Mm -hmm. um, they've also got stuffed lobster and a lot of great del delicious dishes like that. And of course, fish. And their desserts are particularly entertaining. They do them up like this is a key lime pie. You order wow. pie and you don't just get a slice of pie. You get a whole plate, a party on a plate. Wow. So I'll bring up the menu for Rudy's. It might be a little hard to see. So uh, be sure to save this video for later so you can come back and check out Rudy Seagrill's menu. Mm -hmm. Another specialty dining option on Mardi Gras is the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Yum. Ooh. Yep. We I always like love the steak. Carnival Steakhouses. Yep. And Fahrenheit 555 has great steaks like the ribeye. And, of course, they have seafood, great appetizers, great desserts. The Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Oh. Definitely be sure you check that out while you're on board. The filet mignon is so yummy. Yeah, I know you like the filet. Um, and one of the special restaurants we ate at the most was Bonsai Sushi. Bonsai! They have a nice big Bonsai Sushi on the Mardi Gras, and you'll want to check it out. They have delicious sushi, and they also have great appetizers and noodles. A lot mm. of great food. So good. Yep. Bonsai Sushi. I'll put up the menu here so you can uh, save this, come back later, and check out the menu at Bonsai Sushi. If you like sushi, that's the place to go. Definitely. Definitely. And if you want to do something a little different, some entertaining for the whole family or the whole group, go right next door to Bonsai Teppanyaki. Oh, yeah. Bonsai Teppanyaki is a Japanese-style steakhouse where the chef prepares the food right at the table for you. Get that onion volcano going on. That's right, the onion volcano. Um, all the different tricks. What was it you said before? Catch a shrimp in your mouth. I don't know if they throw shrimps on board, but that might be something they do there. Yep. 
There's also another, yet another um, new concept on the Mardi Gras is called Emerald's Bistro 1396. Oh, that old, that place always looks so busy. Yeah, it did. We didn't actually end up eating there. I know we, I thought about it a few times, and they have a lot of interesting New Orleans style food uh, available to purchase at a la carte prices. Uh, they got po' boys and gumbo, and um, they've got um, oysters. A lot of a lot of great, interesting, creative food, and it's got Emerald's name on it, so you know it's going to be some really creative, quality food. Um, Emerald's Bistro in the uh, the uh, um, New Orleans area of the ship there. Right. Speaking of, I mentioned a couple seafood items there. Can't leave out an old favorite of ours, the Seafood Shack. The Seafood Shack. Yep, right out there by the Lido. The Seafood Shack has great food. Um, it's a la carte. A lot of great things like lobster rolls, buffalo, shrimp. Peel and uh, eat shrimp. Peel and mm. eat shrimp. Um, fish and chips. Oh, yeah. And I'll put up the menu here for you so you can see what they have. The prices do change over time, so this might be a little dated, but it gives you an idea of what they have. The chowder in the bread bowl is so good. Oh, that is very good. A lot of great options. So these are the options you can experience on Carnival, Carnival's newest ship, Mardi Gras. Yeah, if you enjoy this information, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe.